So Mr. Smith was offered a salesman job at a toothbrush company. Uh, so his boss, Mr. Tietelmeyer, said, Mr. Smith, our quota is 100 toothbrushes per day. Do you think you can handle that? Yes, Mr. Tietelmeyer, I promise you, I can tell 100 toothbrushes per day. So Mr. Tietelmeyer said, okay, Mr. Smith, here are your toothbrushes, go sell. At the end of the day, Mr. Smith came back to Mr. Tietelmeyer's office and Mr. Tietelmeyer asked him, how many toothbrushes did you sell today? I sold one toothbrush. Uh, Mr. Smith, that is far short of our goal, but luckily we have a grace period, so you get one more chance. So come in tomorrow, be ready to sell toothbrushes. Thank you, Mr. Tietelmeyer. I promise I won't let you know. So the next day, uh, Mr. Smith goes out, sells his toothbrushes, and comes back at the end of the day, and Mr. Tietelmeyer says, Mr. Smith, how many toothbrushes did you sell today? I sold 10 toothbrushes. That's 10 times better than yesterday. I'm afraid that's still well short of our goal, Mr. Smith. I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. Oh, please, please, Mr. Tietelmeyer, just give me one more hit. And I promise to exceed your expectations. Okay, just this once. So at the end of the third day, Mr. Smith comes back. Mr. Tietelmeyer asks, Mr. Smith, how many toothbrushes did you sell today? I sold 5,000 toothbrushes. 5,000 toothbrushes? That's amazing. That's more than our top salesman had sold in a month. How did you do it? Well, it was easy. He, I had up a table, and I had some chips, and I had some chips, and somebody would come along, and I would say, hey, would you like some free chips and dip? And they would say, sure. And they would take the chip and the dip and eat it and say, this dip tastes like shit. And I'd say, it is shit. What am I, a toothbrush? 